been fantastic. It's been incredible. Um, lots of familiar faces, lots of new faces. Um, more than 400 people here, delegates. I mean, every year is just bigger and bigger. So, yeah, it's been incredible. When we're done, we'll do an assessment. I'll sit down with the team. We'll look at what worked, what didn't work. Um, we've already started discussing, you know, what we could do better and what we could do more of. There's an urgency to journalism right now, you know. So we need to make sure that people feel a need to be here. They must be here. There are regional awards across the continent, but we felt the need to actually bring this award um, to the fore and, and, and inaugurate it, of course, this year. Because, um, you know, you want to actually go and, and show people, you want to showcase the best of investigative journalism. But you also want to show people and encourage this kind of work to tell people this is the bar. Try to do this, try to do better. Um, and we saw incredible examples um, of, of investigative journalism and uniquely African investigative journalism. I had no idea <laughs> that I would win. Um, I, I applied, um, I've, never, I've never pursued awards before, but I applied, I was encouraged by my editor to do it. Uh, and and um, I am happy I did it because of the recognition. It's created also more networking opportunities. Everybody wants to take my number um, and, and so we can collaborate with them. They can also teach me uh, new things that are happening in the journal journalism sphere. So I am, I am I'm very grateful uh, for the award. This is my first time here in this conference and it's been amazing. The networking, the um, sharing of information, um, the learning that I've done is more than I've done in years. Yeah, uh, and I've been a journalist for 25 years. I met People in countries, I'm, you know, I didn't, I didn't, you know, I've never met people from Madagascar, uh, Guinea, Benin, uh, and um, it has created uh, opportunities for networking and collaborations with them um, to expand my horizons in what I do. So I'm on the student fellowship, and my role basically is just, I think. It would be to learn from the conference, but also I'm working as well. We also providing content and taking what we learn back to our universities and sharing our experiences. And yeah, overall, we are just like everyone else here. We're learning with everyone. We're networking and we're gaining a lot of insights. <laughs> For Beth, the first day, I would say, I mean, as, as a student, very intimidating. So many powerful people, so many influential people. It was very intimidating, but I think by the end of it, you realize, yeah, these are actually just humans at the end of the day. They're all trying to achieve the same thing. And it was also very empowering because you realize that these people are trying to do the same thing. Investigative journalists are trying to make a difference. And I think after the first day, I realized, like, this is what I want to do. Like, this is. This is my space, this is where I'm meant to be. <laughs> so we did safety, safety clinics during the conference. Um, so the safety clinics by Harpac Trust uh, were obviously, my, I think, something that stood out for me because I was part of organizing them and I was very happy to see the outcome. Very happy to see how many journalists attended and how, how involved they were in, uh, in their sessions. They had very good questions. They had very serious co concerns in terms of safety. And I'm glad that they, that I felt like we could help them and that they were appreciative of uh, the support that the experts provided. Mm -hmm.